Hi, this is Mahmoud Ahmad, and in this video we will continue designing our app using Qt Designer. In the last lecture, we've learned how we can de design the basic UI of our download manager, like this. In the first step, we will enter the downloaded file, the, the file URL, then we will use this browse button to navigate to the save location, then we will hit download, and this progress bar will start moving, telling me the download progress and in the other tab we have two tabs one for downloading one video from youtube and the other for downloading a playlist we join this one video tab and uh, now we can add a url and press get for getting the video quality and drag it in the com box then we will use this browse button for browsing for the save location and we will start downloading in this lecture we will design the playlist Tab and we will add some basic like uh, let's say styling because we will uh, we will explain deeply styling in this app but in the other section not, or not now so let's search we need to drag a line edit here For entering URL, and we need another uh, line edit. Copy and paste it again. We need a button for browsing. Let's call it B. Yeah, just like this, and. Yeah, just like this, and we need we need a progress bar for showing the progress or the download progress, like this. Yeah, and we need to add place for choosing the veggie quality. So let's pick a label here. Let's call it video quality, yeah, just like this. And let's add a combo box right here. We need also button for start downloading. Let's drag a button from here. Start download. But in this step, we will download a playlist. So we need to know which video we are downloading right now. So I'll drag another two labels. The, the current video. And another label here. For the full playlist videos number just like this and we need an LCD number here to tell us how the or the width which video which video I'm downloading right now and another one right here to tell me how many videos on this playlist this is awesome. Let's save it like this. Let's run our design. Now we can see that we have in the first step a place to enter a URL, a button to browse to the save location, and the progress bar shows us the downloading progress. And in the other tab, we have two tabs one for downloading one video and the other for downloading a playlist. And the one video tab, we have a place to enter a URL a button to get this video data like uh, this video progress uh, that video quality and so on and then we can get this video name that the video image likes dislikes the author the description and so on and we have a place for the save location and we have this uh, combo box for picking our video quality or the resolution then we will start downloading and in the playlist step we will enter the playlist URL we will enter with the save location 
and we will choose the video quality from this combo box and this download will start telling us which video we are downloading right now from this CLD number and uh, how many videos on this playlist from this LCD number this is awesome but now let's modify something first of all this this font size is, is kind of small so let's uh, make it a way bigger like this yeah I think this is great 22 and uh, maybe we need to change the font so from here font family we can choose another font like uh, let's try you know yeah this is great actually let's make it kind of smaller yeah this is also let's change the font family yeah like this okay and now let's see let's change this uh, button font from here just like the other line edits it's a good thing to have the the whole app using one font family save it yeah the other tab let's show this font family like this here also we can do this from the code but I'd like to do it from the designer yeah this is good here let's make it 15 yeah just like this and this video quality text let's change it to this font also you can choose any any font you have it's like uh, I just like this font just like this and in the other tab also we need to add a placeholder here let's add it enter uh, play list url just like this Let's add this placeholder also here. Uh, use use browse button to receive location. Yeah, just like this. And let's change this font family from here from Adobe Arabic. Just like this, make it 15. Also here. Yeah, just like this. This also. This text also. And this one, yeah, let's make them 15, 
like this. Make sure to have the whole word shown in this label. Yeah, like this. And this start the mode. Font family also. And let's set this progress bar to zero. Yeah, just like this. Let's save it and let's review our app to see the final result. Now we have a place to enter the download link and to browse the save location and we have the download button to start downloading uh, and this button we have only a peel letter because we will change this peel letter with an icon it's just a placeholder and here we have one playlist for downloading video we can enter your video URL, browse location, video quality and start downloading and the playlist we can enter a playlist, save location, video quality and we can now uh, the current video, the, which video we are downloading right now and the uh, full playlist video's number and we can start downloading. This is awesome. Now we need to add the icons to our app and the, to add an icons to a bike to app we need to use a key resource file. And we will do this on the next lecture. I hope you like this lecture. If you have any questions leave it in the discussion forums or send me a message on Gmail or Facebook with you. And see you next video.